Welcome back to Car Chats FM with Amy and Anna. I'm Amy. <laughs> and I'm Anna. <laughs> I feel like that one was a bit la- lackluster. That was really <laughs> lackluster. <laughs> That's all they're getting from me today. <laughs> You're like, I've squeezed this in my like 20 minute schedule. That's that's maximum. We don't have time. Do not have time to repeat. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, but welcome back anyway, guys. You can find us on Instagram, TikTok and threads at Car Chats F1. All the good stuff. And uh yeah. Oh, and you can buy us a coffee if you want, or buy us a Red Bull. That's what we've called it. <laughs> Buymeacoffee.com slash car chats, everyone. Um, which, speaking of, oh my gosh. Do you want, shall I read out? Yeah. I got the email, and I was like, I forgot, like, what it was. Do you know what I mean? Like, the email could have been like, I think it was like, Izzy bought you a Red Bull, and I was like, who did what? <laughs> you're like, who's <laughs> Izzy, and why did she buy me something? And then you're like, oh, wait, it's yeah. an email. <laughs> Yeah, Izzy. Oh, it just says Izzy bought a Red Bull. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, okay. <laughs> um, so Izzy said, "I've been binging this content for weeks. This is everything I needed." Fave F one girlies. Oh, thank, thank you. So thank you. I genuinely, I saw that and I was just like, "It's one of those moments again where you're like, people, people listen to us. Like, <laughs> people listen to people this? listen to." Us? Because, like, the stats, like, <laughs> obviously, you, you know, like, we get the stats every, you know, every week and whatever about about the pod, about the videos, all of that. We see that all the time. But statistics feel like they mean nothing until, like, a yeah. person is like, I listen to you guys when I'm driving to work. And I'm like, you what now? Like, where, <laughs> are, we, where are we right now? Like, I'd love to know, like, where is... Oh, my God. Yes. Message us on Instagram where yeah. we are right now in the yeah. world <laughs> where we are tell us like the most like i want to know the most obscure place that we are yeah. <laughs> where am i located yeah. i feel like today i bring a sit and i don't know what to talk about vibe to the function that nobody really likes um <laughs> yeah i mean there was you know a race yesterday that we could maybe you know <laughs> stretch out a little <laughs> there being a grand prix and we're like oh we don't really know what we're gonna talk about today but the thing is i have so much to say but it's the fact that we have limited time so i want to keep it concise and not just <laughs> tangent galore <laughs> tangent galore but it, it, it's the way that this as we said before when the races are so early on the sunday it feels like a complete dream when mm-hmm. when I literally woke up at like ten to six, like <gasps> and like got my iPad out and I was like uh, and started it and then there's like a red flag immediately and then I'm like uh, like it's just <laughs> like I, it just feels like a dream and then the rest of Sunday goes by and you're like oh yeah that happened <laughs> yeah literally I'm gonna sound like such a plastic F1 fan right now but I like genuinely. When the red flag happened yesterday, I kind of was just like, I might go back to bed. <laughs> fake fan, fake fan, fake fan. It was the first lap. I was like, the first lap. And then they like didn't restart it for like half an hour. And I was yeah. like, oh, I just, I just. It was the way they were like, it's going to be at least like 20 minutes. And it, she was like, mm. I barely have my eyes open. And you're telling me yeah. I just have to just. I mean, the best thing I did was bring my iPad to bed and then I watched it on my iPad because if I had to get out and go and watch it on the TV this is so first world problems if I had to get yeah. up and go and watch it yeah. on my TV <laughs> I definitely would have just gone back to bed after the if red I had to walk because... the 10 steps out of my bed <laughs> to the sofa <laughs> if I had to walk those 5 to 10 paces too much <laughs> Oh. No, I, I like having the like all all the blinds are pulled you know it's not like the sun wasn't even up because we're in bst now like yeah the sun wasn't up i put the little little lamp on like got my dressing gown on like went down the stairs i was like it actually feels like japan in october yeah because it's like the it's same vibe the same, it's like yeah. dark you're in your jammies and your dressing gown with your cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually quite liked it, but genuinely by the end of the race, like 
I can't even remember what happened because I was like, I li- <laughs> like in and out of consciousness, like straight up. As soon as it finished, I got up and went upstairs and went back to bed. <laughs> yeah, literally, I I kept like towards the end of the race when it wasn't at the end of the race. It was when they said, "Ooh, all of the drama is going to unfold in the last ten laps," and it was about what like lap thirty eight or something. I literally was like, "Okay, so I'm just gonna like." Close my eyes. Gonna rest my eyes. I'm just gonna rest my eyes. Um, but yeah, no, I literally watched the highlights like later than last, like yesterday evening, and I was like, why don't I remember this? I watched the entire mm-hmm. thing. It was in my face like yeah. this. I was a proper iPad kid. <laughs> but I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I really enjoyed the amount of overtakes. Particularly shout out to Yuki's overtake, um, the one that all the commentators were like. I can't remember what lap it was or who it's on. (laughs) (laughs) But the commentators were like, that was fantastic. It was in a place they normally don't overtake. Can't remember what. This is literally. Mm. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. I'm normally I'm more prepared. But yeah, that's the maximum information I can give you. Reputable F1 podcast. (laughs) And we're like, Yuki, that one overtake that he did at some point. At some point in some place on someone. (laughs) Yeah, but if that's you know all it, you need to know. If you know it, you know it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, obviously, Alex crashed out um, on lap one. You know, my Ricardo. Pookie-wookie. My pookie wookie. That's the other reason I was like, I'm just going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but Ricardo was looking to his left. And then, obviously, pulled to the right. They both end up in the wall. And very unfortunate for the both of them, unfortunate for Alex Albon. First of all, also, can I talk about how Max managed to spot that Ricardo was looking left in that like 0.2 seconds that they showed it in the cooldown room? Yeah. Man's insane. <laughs> every every time he does something, I'm literally like, how? Even the Sky commentators were like, how do you see that? <laughs> how? It's unfortunate with the whole chassis issue. They're having a bit of a bad time at the minute over in William. <laughs> yeah, they're not oh. they're not living their best life over in Oxford right now. Everybody was saying why you know why did Alex get the the new chassis blah blah blah, and then I mean Logan did bin it in FP one guys, you know, and then Alex it wasn't his fault. It's just a bracing incident, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, no, the crash wasn't Alex's fault, but it's, mm. I don't know, it's like, the, it isn't like black and white. Like, I think we said it about it maybe last week or the week before where we were like, people are either like, that's so mean on Logan, it's going to hurt his confidence. And then other people are like, mm. it's F1, get over it. Like, yeah. it's not black and white. Like, you can easily, like, just use some critical thinking and be like, actually, I see both sides to this. Like, of course it's going to like i don't know hurt logan's confidence but at the same time it is formula one and the best yeah. driver you know is gonna get like handed better cards i guess so yeah and if you can't like if you can't take the heat don't <laughs> cook in the kit what the fuck is the phrase no you should have you well get out of the kitchen but if you, you can't handle the heat get out of the kitchen <laughs> You should have done like a Formula One version where it's like oh, if if you can't hack uh, the yeah. <laughs> what was the race last year where they were all like passing out in Qu- the car? Qatar. Qatar. I was gonna say Qatar. if you yeah. can't handle the heat, don't don't go to Qatar. <laughs> if you can't handle the heat, don't race F one in Qatar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly guys oh god that took way too long just to say that <laughs> yeah um but one thing one thing i found very funny about this whole i mean it's very unfortunate for williams it's not in a great position they're in but my god will buxton just roasted them <laughs> just straight up straight to james Viles's face i can't i'm sorry but Damon Hill gets a lot of heat for what he says, right? Not, mm-hmm. I'm not giving any opinions on it. But everyone <laughs> is like, will Buxton back at it again? <laughs> like, <laughs> They're literally like, yeah, so cunty, go Will Buxton. Yeah. And then Damon Hill's like, actually, that's pretty, de- like, pretty depressing. And everyone's like, ah, like I said, I'm not giving any opinions on it. I just, yeah, <laughs> Will Buxton. <laughs> will Buxton, we look forward to China. We hope you have two cars there. 
What exactly did he say? It was it was at the sign off. It was at the sign off. Let me play it. Uh, he's, oh, he's so stuff. Funny. Well, uh, we look forward to China. We hope you have two cars on the track for that. But thank you for your time, Jack. <laughs> I, I mean, know. we we been knew that he was like that, you know. Will Buxton hold my baby, Will Buxton? Like, Will Buxton frisbee at a paddock pass, Will Buxton. <laughs> Bringing yeah. a spoon to a knife fight, Will Buxton. I mean, oh, the other thing that happened in Japan that I really, I really want to talk about is: Did you see Pierre Gasly's vision board? No. no. Okay, so Pierre Gasly. Pierre Gasly did a Pinterest, had a motivational board for the weekend. And it was... It's this. It just says right, simple. Yeah. It's got a helmet. And it's got a picture of Charles. <laughs> and then somebody somebody quote tweeted it with, do it for her. <laughs> you know, the Simpsons meme, but with Charles yeah. pictures. <laughs> so good it literally <laughs> is a picture look at it it's a polaroid of charles <laughs> i mean same same pierre you know do it for her mm-hmm. charles really is the baby girl of the grid <laughs> baby girl <The> baby girl <laughs> but i mean i guess it really wasn't a great time for you this weekend to be a mercedes fan mm. I mean, so I had this conversation with my mum where she was, she messaged me being like, that was a pretty good race, wasn't it? Or something like that. Mm. And I was like, oh, I mean, not really, but yeah, sure. (laughs) Whatever you say, (laughs) mum. And and, um, she was just being like, well, yeah, it was pretty exciting and whatever. And then I was like, yeah, but Mercedes didn't do that one. She went, well, they were about where the car would be, weren't they? <laughs> the car uh, would like, be. Yeah, like what, I guess like... she's saying like the car is like the fourth place team, so they oh, were yeah. in, like like eighth or whatever they were in. So she... yeah, oh, Luna's parking. Um, so I was like, that doesn't sound like the mum I remember. Who? She's already become <laughs> yeah. a, a Ferrari fan. Is she? Oh, because of Lewis. I forgot that she's a Lewis fan, not necessarily Mercedes then. Yeah, I wonder how she's going to view Charles now then. I don't know. I don't know. She was actually talking about Carlos. She really? was like, um, what did she say? She said like, oh, they should just put Carlos like in a... She said something like, oh, do, do Ferrari have like a a sister team like... I don't know, like Mercedes have like Williams kind of and whatever. Yeah. And I was like, well, kind of has, like, mm. in a way, because of Ollie and what, like, yeah. yeah, they kind of have like ties to Haas. And she was like, oh, they should just put Carlos in Haas for like the one year Lewis is at Mercedes and then bring him back afterwards. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think he's going to do that. <laughs> put Carlos Ice in a Haas. Carlos Ice has podium to every race he started this year. Shock him in a Haas. <laughs> Also, like, notice how she was like the one year Lewis is at Mercedes. Like, she's com- she's like, nah. Like, even though they came out and was like, he signed a multi year deal. She's like, nah, he's gonna be there one year. <laughs> he's gonna be a Ferrari one year, and then he's gonna leave. Yeah. yeah like, uh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, that's what everybody's saying as well. I'm like, but that. <laughs> but I saw um there was a there was a tweet that said about how Toto Wolf was uh, taking inspiration from Man U, like in an article from a while ago. Where is it? Somebody then said... See where this is going. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mercedes boss Toto Wolf says he studied Man United's failures to avoid teams' decline. And then someone said he studied so hard and started copying them. And then I just really... I could relate that to how Boston Celtics, uh, their coach Joe Mazzula, said that he'd been copying Man City. But obviously that's going much better. They picked the wrong Manchester. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he did. He oh did. dear, oh dear. <laughs> But... At the start of last season, I was like, is this going to be the year Arsenal win the Prem and Mercedes win the championship again? <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, girl. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's great for me. At least this year, Arsenal might get the Prem. <laughs> mm, Liverpool. This is great. For, I'm, I'm, I'm Liverpool and Mm-mm. and, and any, anyone can win, so... Anyone can <laughs> 
<laughs> in F1. <laughs> You're like, I'm an I'm an everyone fan, but not in NBA, but not in football, but <laughs> but not in rugby. But <laughs> I got a it's new it's neutrality, guys. It's neutrality. Get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> no hard hitting opinions here. <laughs> <laughs> she's firmly sent fence sitting <laughs> oh but what i won't fence it about is my is my memes and my tweets so that's what you come here for <laughs> um oh but the other, the other thing that happened lance stroll's radio man did do you hear the lance stroll radio yeah his voice cracked <laughs> His voice crack absolutely kills me. That woke me back up. (laughs) It's a different category. (laughs) Jody said, why does he sound like Shaggy from (laughs) Scooby-Doo? Oh. (laughs) It's a different category. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. So good. That was like the funniest part of the race. Oh, truly. It's the radios. It was everybody being like, everybody being like, I don't know what more I could do. Oh, I think, well, that was quality, wasn't it? I don't know what more I could do. Everybody's like, yeah. I literally can't do any more. I don't know what more to get out of the car. I don't know what I meant to do. Everyone was just like, hands up. <laughs> I was like, fair. Fair enough. Did you see as well that that person who posted the comment, that YouTube comment from four years ago about Charles and Max edited the comment? <laughs> to say Danny Rick and Albon. <laughs> <laughs> it because of the crash Ricardo and Albon had in Japan 2024. <laughs> I love that stuff. I don't they know must they... have been reminded that they actually made that comment just through yeah. the memes. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like I don't know how you how you edited it, but I just I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also really enjoyed Yuki jumping the barriers. That was very entertaining to me <laughs> as well. His little yeah. like And him jumping up on the pit lane wall. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yuki's dedication to jump anything. <laughs> beautiful i love it yeah it he makes squatting on, on the little wall thing i was like oh doing a little Bless squat and he's like sipping his water bottle as well like, yeah and i was like yeah That's he's like my... i'm doing my hip opening stretches while i'm not in the car yeah <laughs> oh i love yuki what what a guy what a guy yeah what a guy china's in two weeks and i mean whether we get to talk about China or not, I don't know. Cause probably not. <laughs> probably not. Let's give you a heads up now, guys. Unfortunately, everyone. Yeah, but yeah. I. This is the last podcast. This is uh, uh, not ever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you stopped at the wrong place. <laughs> this is the last podcast that I'm going to be doing from here. As you can see, all of my stuff's already gone in the background, apart from my Oscar hat. Um, but this last podcast, I officially pack up and move, start my new job, and that means that I do not have the time next week. Um, or at least we don't think so. Um, we have done. I mean, this has been a shift to get this one in today, to get this to fit in. Mm-hmm. But we've done pods in weird places before. You, you did it while you were in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. I was in the car in the work car park on my on lunch your break. Own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did did one on my own. We literally like <laughs> we've um we've really put in shifts to make sure they were going out. Um, but next week I think we might not be able to have one. So, I mean, China's going to be might an interest. not be for a little while actually. Yeah, because we do go to to Worlds for dance, but we'll see if we can do a bedroom like a sleepover esque one where we just sit on the yeah. bed in worlds with our phone mics bring back the phone mics mm. the phone socks yeah maybe we'll do one like that but no promises as of yet guys but yeah best believe though i'll be finishing bloodstream on the plane so <laughs> at least there's one thing and i won't <laughs> best believe i won't be reading it <laughs> <laughs> but i mean with that i then would want to like a little bit about china because one of the things i saw was uh 
Maranello Saint on Twitter said, Ah yes, the Chinese Grand Prix, also known as the place where Crofty accidentally called N- Nico Rosberg Roscoe. <laughs> <laughs> I love that video. It's so I funny. Love it. At the end of the second lap, Roscoe, uh, Rosberg, I should say, has put in the fastest lap of this race. Oh, man. Yes, Roscoe, putting in the fastest lap. Snaps. <laughs> Snaps for Roscoe. I knew he could skateboard, didn't know he could drive an F1 car. <laughs> Looking forward to it, see how much we can watch of it. But I know it's going to be an absolute nightmare for McLaren. It literally, the circuit is as if they've asked McLaren what their biggest weaknesses are <laughs> and then just made a circuit. Uh, yeah. And that's without even saying about how it's a sprint weekend and nobody's driven there in like five years. Mm. Well, oh. that would be interesting for us when we're watching. What are we going to watch? Quali in the airport? I, is that sprint? Uh, yes. I mean, we'll get to see sprint quali. And then we'll get to see Quali or Sprint. I think so. And then we're on a plane. So we don't see the others. And then we're on a plane. (laughs) On a plane. But the other thing about China is if you turn it on its side, it looks like a four. So. (laughs) First win. Yeah. yeah. Lando first win confirmed. (laughs) Hasn't it always looked like a four? And hasn't he raced there before now? (laughs) <laughs> yes i think he must have raced there twice before 2019 and 2020 isn't it he's he was breaking it in then third time's the charm what did people right so we put a question sticker on our instagram apologies guys we literally put it out so last minute but i want to know what people yeah. wanted us to talk about sorry you know what's hilarious is that i think we did this like two weeks ago and then just never talked about the stuff oh, <laughs> i'm what? so sorry everyone <laughs> sometimes we yap too much and then we just completely <laughs> forget that we're meant to be yapping Literally. about something in particular um yeah. i just love how lotbot 11 just said what are your opinions on oscar piastri um <laughs> oh Pookie any excuse any excuse to do this again any excuse guys <laughs> that's why i keep it right there <laughs> <laughs> I love how when I first got it, I was like really afraid to touch it. And now I'll literally just put it on my head every time. I love Oscar Piastri. I think his dry mm-hmm. sense of humor is right up my street. I think he's funny. Yeah, He's like our BFF. We've spoken to him once. Um. <laughs> he literally is our BFF, actually. Um, yeah. So actually, you guys can't have any strong opinions about him. We actually know him. So. We actually know him personally. <laughs> so... <laughs> Same with Arthur. Our close Lando. and personal friend Oscar Piastri. Close and personal friend Arthur Claire. <laughs> close and personal friend Lando Norris. So mm-hmm. when you can say nothing bad about our Pookie Wookie Oscar Piastri. Happy birthday for last week, Oscar. <laughs> if anyone has anything bad to say about Oscar Piastri, then I don't know what to tell you because how? 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 What has he done? <laughs> the only person that should have something bad to say about Oscar Piastri <laughs> Is up my Safna, <laughs> and that's not even justified. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it's Carlos Sainz. <laughs> no, they're on track. Carlos Sainz last year. is nice about it. <laughs> oh, um, oh my gosh! Daphne Alonso said, "Nicolas, Nic- oh, Nicolas Solov video, please." I can't, <laughs> guys. What are we gonna add to this? <laughs> I mean, forget the video. What are his reposts? <laughs> oh, you sent me the tweets of his reposts. My <laughs> God. Obviously, for you guys who don't know, the Alpine Academy drivers made a video. I mean, how could you not know? It's impossible. Apparently one of them isn't an Alpine Academy driver, so Alpine are getting strays from, <gasps> from the video, and he's not even an Alpine Academy driver. Oh, that's, he's just sponsored by BWT. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is hilarious! Uh, <laughs> I'll be catching. Str- I'll be literally cannot catch a break this year. That what? What's the actual guy's name? You just said what? Nikola Solov. Nikola, yeah, he is an Alpine Academy driver, as far as I can tell. But the other the, guy, the, in the other back. one, the, other guy the in backup back. dancer. <laughs> Did you see? Oh my god! Did you see Nora made a video on about it? 
I need to find this actual. No. Oh my god, it's so funny. Where is it? She said, speaking my truth, I thought the two guys in Fireproofs making a thirst trap were just dressing up as racers or something, which is worse. Oh my god, the first time I saw it, I thought the same though. Yeah. You thought it was like a Halloween costume vibe? Yeah. She said, which is worse because it means they put those chains on just to make the video. And then he commented back to it. First of all, his fucking, his handle, his handle is Pink Panther. (laughs) And he said, first get your info, then spill it because you can drive with a chain on. Crying face. And she replied to it saying, I'm so sorry, Pink Panther, I don't know F4 rules. (laughs) absolute slay <laughs> I know right? yeah. <laughs> oh my god <sighs> what she said you? much like, love <laughs> oh my god their caption says much love please remember this moment when you move to F3 <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> absolutely parked him <laughs> I love it Oh, got oh me crying. my god! While we're on the TikToks, I sent you this, but I just love it. I sent you the video of the, the guy finding out that Formula One drivers are hot. Oh my god, yes! When he was like, "Why are you gatekeeping them?" and everybody's being like, "Please, yeah. no, he ran over my grandmother. Like, he's a horrible person. <laughs> Charlotte is horrible." Me. <laughs> The way he was, no, because I was thinking this the other day and then I saw this TikTok and I was like, TikTok can read my mind because this is what I was thinking. I was just thinking like, so there can only be like 20 F1 drivers at the minute because there's only 10 teams. Boo. Um, how are like, they basically all hot? Like, how has mm. that worked out? Like, I mean, I wouldn't go as far as this guy. This guy was calling uh, Nico Hulkenberg daddy and stuff. So that's, I wouldn't go that far. But. <laughs> no. <laughs> when he was going through. So I, I don't think I sent you this one because I wanted to see your live reactions. So I'm going to send you it now. I hope you haven't seen it. But he did like a follow-up video where he looked at more. I saw one when he looked at Carlos dri- Sainz. Drivers. And he kind of looks like Carlos Sainz. But I'm going fucking several. Oh no, that's the one about Danny Rick. Yeah, no, I'm. It's still sending. I'm on oh, TikTok. That's only there, man. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Oli from the Ferrari Driver Academy. Um, it's O like What's overtake, O like lap, O like London, close to where I'm living. Okay, it's sent. It's sent. Tires. I love you, Oli. <laughs> like into tires. That's so funny. Right, you should have it now. Watch the whole thing. A lot of homework to do. So let's go through the list of people that I've written of the F1 drivers, such not even F1 drivers, that I need to go through now. Not even F1 drivers. Who's going to be the At not first, F1 drivers? I wasn't drivers? Like, fully convinced. Oh, is it going to be Tesla? But then I saw this I, photo. I saw him talking about Carlos. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I wish you actually saw my initial reaction. <laughs> I went feral. He's so real. And then I saw this photo. I'm just gonna put myself exactly where I belong. <laughs> Except could someone explain like the why his arm hair is like shaved? <laughs> Frankly, she be purring. I'm just going to the races, but oh, absolutely, this one is a ten. He was- Wait, why was this me? When when I was really getting into F1. <laughs> And you just I told the you. Lineup. I told you. I told you. I forgot about that. Wait, wait, pause, pause. We literally looked at the 2023 driver lineup headshots, and Anna was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> Not even the good photos. <laughs> it's still the way that my mum has been a tough one for years. <laughs> You were like, here are the driver lineup photos. <laughs> Smash, I'm watching F1. <laughs> okay, carry on. You've got to watch the whole thing. It's so fucking funny. Ooh. There wasn't many photo shoots of him, so I think we should all appreciate this man. Lance? Lance Stroll? Appreciate him more. He loves Lance Stroll. <laughs> he also kind of looks like Lance Stroll. 
I can absolutely <laughs> understand the hype behind Max, but I don't know. He's not doing it for me. And lastly, not an F1 driver apparently, but sadly. <laughs> No, and then look at look on his page. He watches he watches the Carlos signs on a like bucking ball thingy. On the ball. <laughs> I love how he's just started duetting like these videos. That's I mean that's what we should have done. Just start doing... <laughs> you should just start doing that with me. <laughs> He's wrong. Oh, <laughs> Going back to what people wanted us to talk about, uh, AK River said, um, Jack and Liam's Twitch stream. So I actually didn't uh I didn't see it. The only thing I've seen about Jack and Liam's Twitch stream is them like hitting the gritty at like 3 a.m. Oh <laughs> Something my random. god. And then he had to like the next and then the next morning, wasn't he? Was he at Japan? Liam was in Japan, wasn't he? Yeah, because I swear, because they had that camera angle of Danny Rick being like, he's behind me, isn't he? That vibe. <laughs> oh. Looking for Lewis on YouTube has made a really good video recently about the uh, WAG resurgence in football, mm. saying about how it hit his peak in like the 2006 England squad Euros, and then um, now is like, then it went quite down, now there's like a WAG res- res- a wag resurgence and i was like mm-hmm. yeah well it's been known because wags are quite popular in f1 um yeah but one of the things that happened this weekend was people hate hating on oscar piastri's girlfriend lily for like oh my god i saw this and i was like the reason what <laughs> i was like, so happy that he started posting him more yeah because there was a while, like because he, he never they used to keep everything very private and like on his birthday and stuff he posted a picture with her in it and like you know all of that kind of thing and what what do you have to hate about it she's uh, she's very literally. private she's pretty she's literally studying engineering like mm-hmm. she's smart she's pretty she's talented what is there to hate and you know you don't know her <laughs> literally genuinely jealousy it's straight up jealousy, jealousy and it's so jealousy. like <laughs> so embarrassing i guess that's it for tonight Okay, so that's it, everyone. The board is finished. <laughs> Goodbye. Until next time. <laughs> I can finally rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all the good stuff at Carters F1. And if you'd like to support the pod, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash Carters F1. Though don't feel like you have to. Your your presence <laughs> is presence and that present and no. <laughs> Oh no. Your presence is a present. And that's why we call mm-hmm. it a gift. <laughs> you can find you can find me on Instagram at Anabominable and on TikTok at AnnaryXF1. That's not your TikTok handle. You're right. You can find me on TikTok <laughs> at AnnaXF1. <laughs> You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at AmyXF1. <laughs> um, yeah, and we'll, <laughs> we'll see you in the next time in a new location under a whole new new life. <laughs> oh, new <God>. era. <laughs> Not for me, I'm here with Jensen. <laughs> me and Jensen are chilling. <laughs> you can find me in a new location, guys. <laughs> well, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.